let's discuss the Kylie Rodney case. As I mentioned in my previous video, I had called in finding glass here in the location that the CRV was removed from Prosser Reservoir. That was on September 24th, two weeks approximately before they had released that this was going to be called an accident. Now, mind you, the detective did call me back in a very timely manner. It was by the time I'd gotten to the other side of the lake. But it was very specific that if that glass was not located in any location other than where Kylie's car or the CRV, allegedly Kylie's car, had been pulled out of Prosser, that it was of no concern to them because they associated that with broken glass from the recovery. But it's always stood out to me that they did care if it was located somewhere else. So let's get into this video. This video, I have full permission from All American Cartel to use and to share with you. If you do end up using it or sharing it on your own channel, please be sure to credit him for this video. This video shows us an angle from across the lake, which I think is very important, which is obviously gonna show that bush that if you've followed my channel for any amount of time, you know that I've always had this thing where I felt that bush is of some kind of importance um, not only due to the fact that the memorials, second memorial is there, um, but because there had always been question on why they had taped that area up right there. So as you can see, obviously, um, different angle of the recovery. This this angle shows just, you know, how many people are on that in, in embankment right there as they're pulling the car out. Um, it shows, you, you know, just something that many of us haven't seen, um, but I've been paying more attention to what they're doing over there on the left, where if you pay close attention, you can actually see them taking pictures. I'm gonna zoom in, or it gets zoomed in, and I have it zoomed in also. Um, whoever, uh, it was a guy that recorded this, whoever recorded this did a really good job because they noticed, you know, some things also to, hey, like, let me zoom in here. Um, All American Cartel also did the same thing, but if you watch um, the agent on the left, seem to have i don't know it almost looks like a camera phone they're taking pictures with um there's going to be another angle coming up here shortly and the one on the right is putting items into a bag we're going to go back to it here um, but it looks like they're putting items into a bag and taking a bunch of pictures so obviously like i said before in previous videos thousands upon thousands of videos have been taken of this area um i mean from everything to you, you know, supposedly the items that should have been in the car, um, items that were left behind, obviously, because nobody went back to get them. Um, that should all be somewhat documented in these photos. Now, this area, to me, now, this is what, like, struck me, is that if this area is is an area that they're continuously photographing and they're, they're it's, a, it's obviously of a significance, um, that area is is that where the glass would be of importance or what was found here what, what was located here because I have a really really hard time believing that this would be for any kind of tire tracks that this would be for anything like that because this area was open to the public you have to remember that this was completely open to the public AWP came in and they found Kylie, but they found Kylie after this area had completely been, you know, people were walking all over it, driving all over it. I mean, there was a lot that happened there after. I mean, I've shared a picture of people diving over her car, allegedly. I mean, there's still a lot. There's no way to me in my head that this could have been tire tracks at, at, at any point. There's just no way to me. So since this investigation has been so quiet and we don't know anything, I question what they've actually been taking pictures of. What what were they taking pictures of right then? Or was this the area that her phone last pinged at? I mean, we don't know any of that information. None of that information was ever disclosed. So as with most anything in this case, everything is just up for basically what you can make sense of it. Now, my hopes are that the FBI report and the CHP report will at least have some information um, with what was located in this area. But in a previous video, I shared they were out there at nighttime. So they were out there for a significant amount of time, even after the car had left um, Prosser, after they had towed it away and everything, they were still out there for quite an amount of time. But the thing is, is that why weren't they out there this amount of time 
during the investigation doing exactly this because I mean, I don't know. Maybe the water levels had something to do with it. That's a possibility. But at the same time, why weren't you going back consistently every single day? Why weren't you checking the last known location? I mean, if a party is at a lake, why wouldn't you continuously check that lake? It just doesn't make sense to me. So here we're looking at some video that I took over at Pan Hill. I wanted to share a couple of different areas with you guys because this made me question everything. Um, as you can see here, there's the bush right there. Um, this is just an aerial photograph of it where the bush is right there where those agents are. This is still over by Penn Hill and this is where the other roads go that lead out to that peninsula that that CRV was located at. Now, in me questioning everything, the second memorial, it's always been, you know, why was it there? So now we have the second memorial is of some sort of significance to, to what extent I do not know. But we do know that this is the area that I just showed where they were bagging up things and taking many, many pictures. So this area is of some sort of significance. Um, and there's Pan Hill from that way. There is the road right there that you can drive. Now this got me to thinking and I went through some more of my footage. In this footage, this is me coming back out of um, that Pan Hill way. But as I would go left instead of going right to go back to the campground. Um, so this is going all the way back. And in one of my first videos um, of me showing the sanctuary, I had shown that there was a trail that comes down from the back of the sanctuary that you could walk down to that possibly people could have parked at. Now, this area still does have, you know, the areas that are a little rougher to get through than others but this is still very much a way that a bunch of cars could park without being seen by any of those fire cams without seeing any of those lights um, any of that because i've never seen that many headlights to make it make sense that there were over 300 people at a party but were you guys partying up at the sanctuary that's always been something in question or were you partying down by the lake so as you can see, there's many different ways around this. Now this is that the road back to what would be where the sanctuary is. Um, there's tire tracks everywhere. Uh, this wasn't this was in September, so not too long after. Um, back here at Pan Hill, showing you just you can get right over there. There is a road, but I did want to mention that when I was there on um, August sixth, that was covered in water so you could not now the water tables are definitely different this year than they were last year so that's going to be a little higher than it typically would be or probably a lot higher but as you can see there's you know definitely room for a ton of cars out here none of it showed up on the fire cams whatsoever um, but there is a direct route over there um, this is on the peninsula where you've seen I've showed you before campfires are there there's the bushes and here's Pan Hill so what are your guys' thoughts? What do you guys think? I'm not really sure that it would change much, but uh, it's definitely a video I wanted to share with you guys. Definitely something that's been on my mind is if they were actually at the water. And here, this is the video from August 6th where I wanted to show you guys that that right there is where that road is. Um, it's, you know, obviously submerged. But remember, we were always told to stay out of the blue area. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well.